Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show the text-to-speech software for the South African voices that are available. The voices that are available are Afrikaans, English and Zulu that I'm going to be showing and how they sound, uh, previews of the voices. Our text-to-speech software, it's a bridge between Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud and IBM. You can sign up for free, I will leave down in the description the link to our website. and. Once you are signed up, you can easily set up and start trying the software. Afrikaans is actually the mainly first language that it's available to be selected here. But in case that you're searching for other voices or other languages that you might need, then you can be searching for them. So I will start showing the voices and the sounds that they have. You can skip up, skip up the video according to the segments that are created here and I will start listening here to the female voice. Here we can select and see which cloud provider is available and in the case of Afrikaans we have only Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. So let's listen. Hallo, heb jij kan enige van ons stemmen gebruik om jou tekst te synthetiseer soos nodig? Voeg bykomende ingebouwde stemeffekte by om jou spraak verder te verbeter. En jy kan ook neurale stemme gebruik om jou spraak te laat klink asof dit dier een levende mens uitgesprek is. Now, a male voice. Hallo, jy kan enige van ons stemme gebruik om jou tekst te synthetiseer soos nodig. Voeg bykomende ingebouwde stemeffekte by om jou spraak verder te verbeter, en jy kan ook neurale stemme gebruik om jou spraak te laat klink asof dit dier een levende mens uitgesprek is. Ons hoop jy sal ons diens geniet. And now let's listen to the Google Cloud and compare the female voice. Hello, I can enige van ons stemme gebruik om die tekst na behoefte te synthetiseer. Voeg bykomende ingebouwde stemeffekte by om die spraak verder te verbeter en jy kan ook neurale stemme gebruik om die toespraak te laat klink asof dit dier een levende mens uitgesprek word. And honestly, of course, I don't speak Afrikaans. I just got to learn a few words. I can live for you. You know, the important words when you're meeting someone. So naturally, if we compare the Microsoft Azure voice with the Google Cloud, it sounds more robotic. You can feel the robotic. And of course, also the Microsoft Azure has probably they're not the 100% perfect voice or human natural. They are getting closer to be real voices that are available. As these technologies keeps improving, I'm sure that they will be even closer to be human-like. So the next language that I will show, and let's go by order, of course, it's then English. And of course, there will be variants according to regions. I got to know so a couple of people from South Africa, and of course, they have different English accents. Here, we only have Microsoft Azure voices available. Let's listen to the female voice. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional bold in voice effects to further enhance your speech, and also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. Now, a male voice. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional bold in voice effects to further enhance your speech, and also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. And now let's go to the Zulu language and listen also to the Microsoft Azure voices. Saubona, unga sebenzi sanoma ima api amazwi etu, uguze uslanganise umpalo wako njengoba kutingeka. Engeza ugwa kega ogwengeziwe emipumele ni yezwi uguze ututugise inkulumo yako. Futi unga sebenzi sa amazwi emizwa uguze wenze inkulumo yako izwa gale sengati ipingi selwe ngumundu opilayo. And the male voice. Sa ubona unga sebenzi sa noma imapi amazwi etu uguze ushanganise umpalo wako njengo babu tingega. Engeza ugwa kega ogwengeziwe emipumele ni yezwi uguze ututugise inkulumo yako, futi unga sebenzisa amazwi emizwa uguze wenze inkulumo yako izwagale, sengati ipingi selwe ngumuntu opilayo. 
So please write down in the comments what you think about also the Zulu language here in the text-to-speech software. And to use the software, I will just gonna test with the English language. Again, we can select the mail voice here if we want to create projects and set them up on a specific project we can do it so that the audios are filed on a folder also here we have the controls that will help us to make some changes here on the numbers in some other video we'll talk about how this can help to do the variations in case that the numbers are wanted to be changed the volumes the speed and the pitch i mainly recommend to use the extreme points because the intermediate buttons they will not that affect that much and as well with the pitch and of course the pause will add some time between the phrases so i will just type and let's say we have already our full text and the other recommendation is to synthesize directly so that we can have already the available audio to be downloaded. The listen preview will also get to use some of the characters and as we keep improving, we will be adding more features so that it actually works better, the listen preview. And we will have here available the preview and the download. So let's listen. Hi, I am Carlos. I live in Cape Town. And let's say if we are fine with it, we can just download and start using the audio for any project. So this is the text-to-speech software. You can start creating for different purposes, for audiobooks, for YouTube videos, for TikTok videos. And even if you're also monetizing, you can use the audio for that. If you have some questions or comments, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.